Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at the many tools I use when drawing and drafting. In this episode, we're going to talk about the architects and engineers' scales. Architects, engineers, and designers use a device called a scale to draw something very large or very small. So whether you're designing a home or the next smartphone, you'll need to scale something up, like a fine detail, or down, like a building plan or elevation, in order to get it onto a piece of paper so it can be understood and made. This is an architect scale. This one is 12 inches long. Each 12-inch scale has six sides. That's 12 different scales. A scale essentially converts different lengths into feet. The numbers on the side tell you what scale you're using. First, you'll notice two sets of alternating graduations on each side. That's because there are two different scales per side. Let's say you want to take one foot and scale it down to be the size of a quarter inch. Find the quarter inch measurement on the scale. This is where the quarter of an inch now equals 12 inches. You'll also notice the small graduations before the zero. These represent the 12 inches within that quarter inch measurement. Let's say you want to draw a box that's six feet square. First, mark six feet using the quarter inch portion of the scale. Now draw a line. You can now draw two vertical lines at these tick marks. Finally, measure from your horizontal line up to six feet and make another mark. Draw another horizontal line at this mark, and you've done it. The engineer scale is similar, but represents scale increments of 10. On an engineer scale, there are only six scales, and they're larger. Each number on the ends of the scale represent how many feet to an inch. So on the 120th scale, every inch is 20 feet in your drawing. But don't get confused. When you read any number on this scale, you're simply adding a zero, meaning a two means 20 feet, or a 12 means 120 feet, etc. When deciding which of these scales you need to use, think about this. An architect scale is generally used to describe the inside or outside of a building. The engineer scale is used to describe the site or property that building sits on. These days, the computer seems to have all the answers, but it can't read blueprints, plans, and details. By learning to use a scale, you could very well open up a whole new way of understanding drawing and develop a real-world, marketable skill. So thanks for watching, and join us next time as we take another look at the wonderful world of drafting tools.